So, Matthew, from your experience, what has it been like to be an NJHS immediate intern for the continuing medical education department? So yeah, being an NGHS intern is a lot of fun. Um, there's also a lot of work. You have a lot of um, you have a lot of symposiums to go to, a lot of things to record, a lot of things to edit as well. Um, being able to edit for social media is a really valuable skill to have, and it's one that I've gotten to develop pretty well over the past few weeks. Being an intern here also means sometimes waking up at 5 a.m. to get to a symposium. Yeah. But it gives you a lot of those valuable skills that you really want to have as a film student. I know film students who would kill for this kind of opportunity. Absolutely. Not literally, but, you know. <laughs> yes. Um, so as far as my thoughts on what it means to be an NGHS media intern, specifically for the Continuing Medical Education Department, is one thing I learned coming into this internship is film as a skill set, you think it only applies to like from a creative standpoint and that it can go into other facets of like the industry. Um, the industry meaning, you know, professional creatively, whether that be for medical content, whether that be for um, consumer-based products, whether that be for um, film as a whole, movies, uh, Hollywood. One thing I learned coming in is that the skills of a film degree, specifically my film degree, your film degree, film and digital media, with a production concentration at the University of North Georgia, that it can apply to this internship, uh, specifically um, in the medical um, in the medical standpoint. So, as far as my day to day and what it's been like, it has been a lot of disciplined. Okay, waking up at 5 a.m. to get to, uh, let's say, a general surgery grand rounds um, at Walters Auditorium, the historic Walters Auditorium, um, and kind of how can you use these applied skills you're learning at school to then come to a medical setting like here at NDHS, and how does that translate, how does that transfer, and what is there still to be learned? Um, while also looking at mentors um, and taking all that experience into account, so a combination of schooling, the internship, and the work you're doing at NGHS uh, means something, and that's one thing I've learned is that um, the knowledge I have in film and related to cinema um, and editing and post work, pre-production work, um, in the middle phase production um, and even development, that transfers well in a professional setting like NGHS. So I think when you go to this internship, you're bound to learn some valuable skills. Um, you're bound to learn some valuable skills and, and all the, the stuff you've done in school is going to translate well and it's going to be in a very practical setting and, and it feels worthwhile to be an intern here at NGHS. Yeah, and you're also going to see that there's a lot of principles that you learn in school at UNG that will be applied here. Like, we use rule of thirds. We use basic good practices of editing. Yes. Uh, we use all those things. We don't ignore them just because we're not working in a creative context. Yes. Or just because we're not at the university anymore. Absolutely. And, and I also think, like I said, there's a certain discipline factor that comes with this internship, too. I think um, a lot of people think that just alone having the skills um, in film is enough. There's also a discipline factor, like you said, waking up at 5 a.m., being on time to things, hitting record when it's time to hit record, um, and realizing that you're not only looking out for yourself, but you're looking out for everybody who sits in Walters Auditorium or the auxiliary, auxiliary conference room. Um, so it's much bigger than yourself here, and you got to remember you're doing it for a huge, huge um, establishment such as NGHS. And I suggest um, film students kind of open their eyes to an internship like this um, rather than having kind of a small scope um, in regards to Hollywood or, or cinema as a whole and, and kind of um, broaden their horizons and, and come yeah. to NDHS for their internship. Yeah. In regards to project management, what have you learned? How do you feel that uh, project man management skills are so vital here at NDHS? So project management is really important and it's something that if you do schoolwork well and you're good at turning in assignments on time, it's probably going to translate pretty well to this as well. The system we use is pretty easy to understand, and it gives you a good way to view all the editing projects you have come up, coming up, all of the symposiums that you have to do, all of the events that you have scheduled, yes. and then you really learn how to maneuver through that in a professional environment exactly. as opposed to a school environment. And I think adding to that, I think that even something as simple that you think you would do, such as, you know, you're creating, you have your file structure, you have it on your um, hard drive or SSD, you have it in your computer, you're going to put in the raw files for 
um, let's say a general surgery grand rounds CME. There are so many other subsidiary things within that. So you have your raw footage, you have your audio files, you have your mixture footage, um, you have your uh, mixture ATEM setup that all needs to be in a specific place um, to be efficient. So overall project management is important to just the overall success of whatever project you're doing. Um, the project will fall apart if the project management falls apart. Yes. Yeah. We know here at NGHS, it's not as simple as turning in, uh, turning in work and, and getting the okay necessarily. Um, we learned this in school as well. It's not as simple as turning in a film script and just immediately getting the green light on it. And this applies to NGHS as well. So how do you feel about the back and forth process ensuring success that the video is exactly where it needs to be by the time it hits socials? Yeah, so we have, we use a system called frame.io. Um, we use a system called frame.io to deliver um, edited social media reels and grand rounds presentations. And then we get feedback on there that allows our supervisors to choose a specific point in the video, mark a note, and then we can get that back and very easily go back into Premiere or Opus Clip, which we're, we've started using now as yes. well. And we can make those changes and re-upload to frame.io. It's a very simple process and it's very effective yes. for getting the feedback that you need. And adding on to that as well is, you know, NGHS is always looking for new ways to, um, to uh, increase, for one, the turnaround time for projects. Uh, making sure that the medical content is readily available. You know, let's say, I think our turnaround time has been less than 24 hours to get a CME from Walters or wherever out onto the internet for people for it to be viewable um, and for a CME credit. So I think that tools like Frame.io, Opus Clip, which we're exper experimenting with right now, and other things that supervisors and media specialists within the department are looking for to make it easier and more efficient to get these videos out there is huge. Um, and sort of this back and forth tandem process between intern, supervisor, media specialist, director, all the way to the director, all the way to Dr. Delzell, whatever it may have you. Um, this is important in ensuring that the video is exactly where it needs to be professionality wise, quality wise, because at the end of the day, NGHS, uh, NGHS uh, promises 100% um, professional uh, quality work. So at NGHS, um, there is a, a certain emphasis on using AI not to replace jobs, um, but rather as a tool to help enhance the skill set that has already uh, been learned by, let's say, the doctor or a media specialist or a director or a nurse. Um, so in the media department, that's no exception. We use, like you said, Opus Clip. Essentially what Opus Clip does is it takes the content that we record, say we record a CME, takes that content and finds the most valuable information within it to produce a certain amount of videos that are of quality. It doesn't stop there though. You go through those videos and that's when you have this creative um, sort of outlook on what you're watching. So it's, it's not necessarily you're, you're having Opus Clip do the work for you. It's Opus Clip is being used in tandem with you to find the best quality videos and then you go through and edit um, as you need within those. So what do you feel about Opus Clip? Do you think it's a good tool? And uh, why should you know a future intern know about that? So yeah, Opus Clip is a very good tool that uses AI. As opposed to how we see a lot of higher ups in film wanting to use AI to get rid of jobs, Opus Clip is just a tool to make your job easier. Yes. It uses an algorithm to find the clips that will make the best social media reel and then it gives you a couple of suggestions for what clips to use. Yes. And then you as the editor still have the creative, the creative freedom to go through and select those clips and edit them as you see fit. Mm -hmm. It's not a way for you to get rid of an editor. We still have to work with it. Yes. But it's just a tool that makes things easier. It's just another additive to the toolkit that yes. NGHS is trying to uh, make for its employees to make their work more efficient. Yes. Um, so in regards to team huddles, we also have, and this goes with organization and project management, is a huge thing for project management, specifically in relation to the media uh, department here at NGHS. Um, huddles and team meetings weekly, um, whether that be Tuesday, Thursdays, whether there's spontaneous ones that need to happen to address a situation or an issue, 
or a new project. Um, huddles are huge for making sure everyone's on the same page. Um, and like I said, ensuring that success that NGHS um, sort of promises. So how do you feel about team huddles? What has that experience been like for you? Has it been helpful for you? Yeah, so team huddles can be really, really helpful for getting to know the people in your department, even if you're not on campus every single day. Um, I know as an intern, I haven't really gotten a chance to work in person with a lot of the people that I see on Huddle, but I now have a that connection, that relationship that I can potentially use if I'm looking for a job in the future. It's a good way to have connections and build those relationships too. Build those relationships and build that resume and that collection of people that you know who have seen that you can work well and can be an asset to you in the future. Yes, and not only that, and this is huge, and I think a great way to wrap this conversation is that NGHS, regardless if you work within um, the field after you end your internship, um, and re regardless if you work with North Georgia um, health systems or not, you can take this skills that you learned here and apply to any job you go to. Yeah. So that's what's most important with this, and that's why I think this internship is just huge for interns, and I definitely always suggest interns come over, get the experience here, and use that applied knowledge and take it somewhere, whatever their next step in their journey is. Mm -hmm.